Hey guys, I'm Jim, WT1W, and you're watching FEP Labs Radio. Thanks for stopping by, appreciate it. So in this video, I want to share with you a gadget I bought, a dingus. You know I love a dingus. So this is a thermal imaging camera. This is a Top Don TC04 thermal imager, and it comes with a little bit of kit, and it will let you see the differences between heat and cold. It has a lot of cool functions, and we'll get into those in a second. So let me change cameras, and let's take a little bit of a closer look at what we get with our kit. You get a carrying case. Yay. Then here's the actual camera. You get an AC power adapter. This is USB-A, and it comes with a cable that goes to the charging port right here on top, which is USB-C. And then you have a slot for an SD card. You also get an SD card with that. That has a protective rubber cover. This is somewhat moisture proof. I don't remember if it's IP, whatever. I wouldn't drop it in the rain. And of course it comes with a USB A to C cable as well. And then an instruction manual. And the instruction manual is pretty straightforward, although tiny print. And you can get this online from Top Don's website, which is who the manufacturer of this is, Top Don. I bought this off of Amazon. This was not sent for a review or anything like that. I paid for this myself. So this works like pretty much any thermal imager I've ever used. And I use these in the fire department a lot. And I'm going to show you the screen. And then we're going to jump to a view and look at the computer program where you can actually see more of um, things. So once it boots up, it will show you the difference in temperatures. And as you can see, there's my hand. And if I press my hand on the mat here and then move my hand out of the way, you can see where my hand was because of the heat difference between the mat and my hand. If we pull up the power plug, You can see it doesn't really have anything going on. If I set my fingers on it, you can see that I've touched it. So pretty cool. And you can change the color parameters of this. Uh, the settings are accessed through this button right here. And you're not going to be able to see this on camera. You can set for it to show you a hot spot, a cold spot, as well as just looking at the temperature at the center spot, which is a white a white cursor. You can also change the color palette. So you can have white hot, black hot, what they call iron, which is your typical FLIR looking view. And by the way, FLIR is a trademark name, your typical thermal, thermal imager view. And you can also have it in rainbow in one other mode that I didn't really understand that I'd probably never use. Rainbow is pretty cool. And, and I've got some pictures that I took of various things around the house with this and we'll roll those in in a second and, and I'll show those, share those. So you can change the palette, you can change the measurement units, whether it's in Fahrenheit or centigrade. Uh, you can change the measurement distance from feet to meters, um, that kind of thing. Uh, you can also set the temperature range that this will look for. So the biggest thing with temperature range is uh, the, the lower range is like from minus 20 or 40 C to about 100 C boiling temperature of water. And then the second range is from about 100 C up to way the hell hotter than 100 C. And is not something you typically see in household use. I bought this for a couple reasons. One of the reasons I grabbed this thing was I live in an old house, a drafty old house, and it's a great way to chase down and find and plug drafts. My shop is a metal building that's draftier than my house and I want to do a little work out there and and find out where the cold arctic blasts come from. Yes it is Alabama but we do have cold here for a couple three days a year. So that was one of the reasons I bought it. The other reason is it's great for electronics because you can aim it at a board, a circuit, a device and you can see the hot spots or if you're looking for something cold you can see the cold spots. This gives you a temperature reading which is useful, but the biggest thing that this will shine at, in my opinion, is that it shows the differences in temperature. And based on that 
temperature range that you set it to, it can be very significant. So on the lower temperature range, just the body heat from me touching something showed up clearly that I had touched the mat or the, the adapter plug that this thing came with. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I've got the app installed here and you can see it on your screen up here. And we have our camera hooked up and here's the camera right here, it shows up. We double click it and then it will install and we get a live view of the wires and junk behind my desk. So, you know, no judgment. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this has a couple of things we can see. There's a cold spot right there. This is down at 20 degrees. And it's interesting because that looks like that's in centigrade. So here's a Raspberry Pi, for example, right here on the desk. And we can see the differences in temperature with the Pi. So there's a screen right there, and then there's the CPU, and it's running a little hotter. The blue spot is the cold spot that keeps jumping around. The red spot is the hot spot, which is my finger. Interestingly enough, the temperature of the white spot is in Fahrenheit, and the two hot and cold spots are in centigrade. So that's kind of odd. If I put my hand up here, We can see the hot spots over there on the right side of the screen at 34.8. And let's see if I can change the palette while we're looking at this. So we're in a rainbow palette right now. There's iron, that's your typical infrared camera view right there. Uh, And then you can set all your settings in here. Although it's incredibly distracting with the temperatures bouncing around on the screen while we're doing this. <laughs> but you can set your scale. So that's where you set your scale. Minus three to 302 degrees Fahrenheit or 212 to 622 Fahrenheit. Again, I've set this thing to Fahrenheit. So it's kind of odd that high-low alerts I don't have these on, so we could set these to a given temperature and the machine would let us know if we surpass that temperature. You can take pictures with this, which I've mentioned I have, and we'll look at some of those without all the flicking around. And then your units, your temperature units, uh, you can test in centigrade, Fahrenheit, or Kelvin, and your distance units in meters and feet. I haven't tried to measure distance with this. That's not really why I bought it. Mm -hmm. Auto power off and then system level settings, the device information, format the SD card, yada, yada, yada. And as you can see there on the Pi, 31 degrees, right around in there. And relatively speaking, it is the hottest thing that we're looking at. Again, if I actually had read the manual, I might be able to determine a few more things about this, but, and I like the center spot. I really wanna get rid of the hot spot and the cold spot. They mostly just annoy the crap out of me. And when these two things are together, you can see the red right there because that is the hottest spot. So we can get out of the settings. So that's it live, and it will do the, the thing I showed earlier. There's my hand on the mat. And as I remove my hand off the mat, you can see it left over. There's some other features that I'm not going to go through other than to mention that it does them because I haven't figured out how to use them yet. We can we can point with the mouse and this is active. So as I point with the mouse, it shows the temperature wherever the mouse cursor is at, right? So that's kind of neat. Um, some of these other settings, I, I just, I don't understand what they really are trying to do. We can do a circle and then we get temperature parameters inside the circle, the red and the blue um, triangles that are bopping around in there and we can delete that. So you can set up different regions and I think it will show those regions as separate temperatures, which is kind of interesting, but again, not why I bought it. It'll do offline and online analysis, offline analysis I haven't played with. But what this is for, as I said, is hot spots and cold spots in my house and for looking at electronics and you know testing the heat on stuff. I've got a little squeezy $20 laser infrared thermometer thing 
that's fine if you're aiming at a big target, but if you're trying to find, you know, a smaller target, it's kind of hard to tell what you're aiming at exactly. So this will solve that too. So it has multiple uses. It's not strictly ham related, but it's a great gadget. Okay, here's some pictures I grabbed. Nothing special. Uh, I can tell you what all these are. So the cylindrical device here in the middle that's standing up is uh, my Amazon smart device. And then below it is the Astron power supply. There's another shot of the Astron. And you can see the red spot there is 119. This is a picture of my mixer. Uh, this is a Rodecaster Pro 2. And you can see the warm spot in this is the upper right-hand corner here. I guess that's where the business is at, right? This is my coffee mug this morning. I still have coffee and it's still hot. But it's interesting. I thought this was a cool picture because you can see how obviously warmer it gets toward the top. We're at the bottom, it's showing almost freezing cold, and you're showing a 30 degree temperature difference there uh, between the top and the bottom of the mug, which I thought was interesting. So our next picture is in rainbow mode, same picture, but I changed the color palette. And I like rainbow mode better, I think, because it differentiates the heat gradients more. Uh, same picture in, this is white hot. Uh, that would be a cat. There's the dog who does not care about my silly human crap. So, guys, that's it for today. I appreciate you stopping by. I just wanted to do a quick demo and do a little show and tell on the on the imager. This is the Top Don TC004. I will put a link for it off of Amazon in the link below. It is an affiliate link. Doesn't cost you any more. It does help out the channel if you decide you want one of these things. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. 73.